What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be doing a gameplay with the player of the month, David Thompson. So, this card right here is the reward for going 12 and 0 in the month of May, and thank god we have a player of the month reward, because it was honestly looking like unsell, they had him up for two months, and that would have been a disaster. That would have been an absolute disaster. Yeah, so... 2k have kept on their trend of the last three times of giving us really undersized players. Giving us Darren Williams. Giving us, um, what's his name? Turning, we got Darren Williams, then we got uh, Wes Unsell, and then we got David Thompson. So we got undersized players for all three of these positions. David Thompson only being 6'4". But David Thompson has got 12 Hall of Fame badges, one man fast break, chase, and artist, difficult shots, pick dodger, tireless scorer, defensive stopper, lapsity finisher, posterizer, acrobat teardropper, pick it maestro, and relentless finisher, as well as 11 gold badges. He has got an open shot mid of 96, open shot 3 of 90, post fadeaway of 82. He has got a driving dunk, obviously, of 99, driving dunk tendency of 100, flashy dunk, and 100 standing dunk tendency. That's a bit crazy. He has also got a 95 standing dunk, which is a very, very crazy for a 6 foot 4 player. He's at 92 ball control, decent passing stats, he's got a 92 block, 95 shot and has 92 steal, and I know his block is 92, but he will not get any blocks, he is 6 foot 4. Height means more than block rating, as we saw with Mario Hazonia, who's 6 foot 8, small forward with 95 block, and he couldn't block anyone, he just was basically, I've never seen someone get dunked on it as much as that Mario Hazonia, but also he has got okay rebounding stats, 81, 82, 82, 97 speed, 97 acceleration, 94 speed, ball's really good. He's got 97 out of quickness and 94 on ball defensive IQ. So he honestly just looks like this guy. He looks like a little bit worse version of this guy. Not even joking. Obviously, Greerian has got Limitless. Does he have gold Limitless? No, he doesn't. But like Richie Greerian is a better shooter. Dunking, obviously, a little bit worse. Block is irrelevant. Rebounding is irrelevant. Speed, Greerian's a bit faster, and Greerian is very similar on defense. So he just seems like a worse version of Richie Guerin. And this is literally the um, one of the most underrated cards in the game. Like, I don't understand why people don't talk more about Richie Guerin. Because that card is literally like... If he was 6'6", six, six, he would be a god in this game. But, uh, yeah. So, let's get these badges on David Thompson. Just because they are kind of important badges. Especially if I'm playing him at the point guard position. See, does he have deep range dead eye? No, he doesn't. So, yeah. This should be quite... Um, a good game anyway and this card should be not too bad so anyway we have got david thompson the one jr the two grant hill the three davis the four and robinson the five the bench we've got tracy mcgrady grant or kevin durant Giannis, carmelo blake griffin uh, lebron james larry hugh or sorry larry bird and steph curry so anyway yep that is a team let's go over to hot zones and release for david thompson then we're gonna get on to the game Okay, so he's got hot zones everywhere inside the three and a couple of spots outside the three. David Thompson has still got... A lot of people hate this release. It's not that bad a release. It's fast. Like, you got to give it that much. It is a fast, fast release. And this is the first year... I normally... Uh, people would have complained about this card saying, oh, his release is way too fast. Whereas this year, players since base 11 and base 8 are so prevalent, players are getting used to fast releases. And they're actually probably better than slow releases. But yeah, dunking, obviously it is David Thompson, that's what he's known for. He's going to be really good at that, obviously. But this should be a really fun card to use. Whether it's really good or not, is yet to be seen, but it should be still really fun. See the step back, or side step. That's actually a nice enough animation. If I ever get caught into that, that may work. But yeah, his release does not seem too bad anyway. It's just very, very quick. So anyway, now it's just green one three. Bad release. And now let's get on to the game. Okay, so we're playing as Baron Davis, Kobe, Gordon Hayward, LeBron James, Greg Oden. So this should be a decent enough matchup. Actually, wait, 91 LeBron James. That's really not a great card. So we do have definitely a massive advantage here. Okay, he is cold and it's been twenty he's cold and it's been twenty eight seconds. I don't think I've ever gotten cold this fast for a player before. I was not meant to be a layup, that was meant to be a fake. But, alright, like Robinson's forgot how to catch the ball. Straight to the basket, David Thompson draws the foul. Alright, it's knocked in these two free throws and hopefully it stops it being cold. Okay, green's the first. 
And he hits a second. Good job. Three ball, green light. Good shot, David Thompson. Spin him. Oh, what a dunk right there. Okay, with the high side dunk rating, that could be that could be his thing that he's really good at. Three ball again. Can't hit it. Fade away. Green light. Good shot. 12th layup, but he puts it in. And even though it was a bad start, he still does have 11 points in two and a half minutes. And he's genuinely not even far off being on track for 100, like. A wide open. Good shot, Thompson. To the basket, David. Thompson jams out on LeBron James. Okay, he has got slasher, shot creator, takeover. Not a bad combo. There we go. That's not too bad. Maybe it is. Surely. There we go. Finally score a takeover. Nice layup. Good job. All right. He scored a fair amount of points in this quarter. Step from deep. Green light. Good shot. We're only shooting 48% from the field, which is not great at all, to be honest. Steph missed the fadeaway three. But I'm not worried. Like, I'm going to win this game and win it very comfortably. I'm not taking the game too seriously. I'm taking a lot of bad shots and just kind of... Not focusing too much. Like, it's gonna be an easy win anyway. From deep. Knocks it down. Good shot. Mid range. That's open. There we go. He's right. once you get used to his release, it's actually not bad at all. Hey, this guy's actually made a ball game again. Steph comes down, it's a bad release. Come on. I gotta start hitting those shots. Fade away. Green light. Good shot, T-Mac. Bad release. What? Seth Curry knocks down to D3. Like Griffin. Fades into the shot and he knocks it down. Okay, Giannis is there as a rim protector. Steal. Fall up. T-Mac knocks down to D3. Now all of a sudden it's back at 12 points just because of how OP these cards are. All of Fame Limitless is too OP this year. It is way too OP. Free ball, bad release. But he knocks it down. Straight line to the basket. David Thompson gets swatted. But he does get the mid-range shot out of it and knocks it down. Ball up. And David Robinson scores with his forearm. That's very that's a bit crazy. Good fade, good shot, David Thompson. Like, I actually would probably be one of the only few people that actually like his release. Because I know through the years, he's had always the same release and everyone's hated it. But again, as I said in Shooter, maybe people are more used to it now that he's... Obviously, everyone's used to fast releases. Green light, good shot. But it's nowhere near as fast as something like a base 11. Got him. Leaner, green light, good shot. Okay, I've got it. Nice layup, good job. The basket, David Thompson stopped, but it doesn't matter. He's smothered, he still greens it. Okay, Leaner. Green light, good shot. Three ball, green light, Yanis. Alright. This has just become a complete blowout. And it's probably him done. Yep, that's a rage quit. So anyway, that's the video. Do I think David Thompson is going to be a game changer? No, but um, to be completely honest, since Dr. J, he's probably the best of the reward cards we've gotten for, uh, what's it, for Unlimited. Like, I think he's much better than the Isaiah Thomas. I think he's better than all the rewards we got after Isaiah Thomas. Hakeem Ginobili, Julius Irving were the best three, and I think definitely David Thompson slots in somewhere in around that range. David Thompson, yes, he's got a really fast release, and a lot of people just dislike his release based on what it's been in previous years. But trust me, this year it's better. Not even, well, it's the exact same. But we're all used to faster releases. We've been spoiled by base 11. We've had to use faster releases because of the whole shot contest. And because of that, David Thompson's release is actually money. As you guys can see in the game, I was hitting an awful lot. I was greening an awful lot with him. And even though I didn't mind his release in previous years, the super fast release well, we're all used to it, and they are much, much better and much more effective this year. Especially with the shotgun test, you need a quick release to get it off. And that's something David Thompson definitely has. 
So this card, obviously, he can do everything. He can shoot, he's got a decent post fadeaway, he can dunk unbelievably well, he's got some great standing dunk animations, which can be OP if you're looking to spin dunk. There is nothing David Thompson can't do. And honestly, if you're looking at two guards, I'm not gonna make a tier list today, I will do that some other time, but I will put him on around the level of a Richie Guerin. And that's saying, that's a good sign. Like, if he's even close to Richie Guerin, that's, that shows how good he is, because this Richie Guerin card is the GOAT. I put him kind of a little bit below the likes of Clyde and Brandon Roy, but I put him kind of in the like second or third tier of two guards. I'm not entirely sure because he doesn't have a lot of cards in his account, this guy, but he'd be in like the second or third tier of two guards. I don't necessarily know um, what cards are around the same tier, but he wouldn't be really a God Squad player. However, if you are kind of a budget player, he could be a star for your team. If you're looking to make a no money squad and you think is it worth it going 12 and 0 definitely a lot more worth it than was unselled he's a lot more usable in the six foot seven center and david thompson is a card i'm definitely going to look to pick up because he's someone that i have a feeling i can build a team around i can do really well with and he's going to be a guy that's going to be using a lot of squad builders later on in the year so anyway yep that is the video is it an unbelievable card debatable is it a good card without doubt anyway thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe